Hello, I'm Dr. Bud Zauk, and I'm the Program and Technical Manager of the DADS program. Today, I'm going to give you an update on the breath and touch systems. Just to orient you, we're here in the main DADS chemistry lab at KA Technologies, located about 30 miles west of Boston. The lab has three main components, the main verification lab, a vehicle integration lab, and our offices where we oversee the program. Right now, I'm in the breath area, which is in the main verification lab. To refresh your memory, this system is designed to take fast, accurate, and precise reading of someone's breath alcohol content. And if they're above the legal limit, prevent the vehicle from moving. Unlike existing interlocks, the DAT sensor is not a punitive device. It's completely passive. You don't have to blow into a tube like a traditional breathalyzer. You simply give a simple puff of breath into the sensor, and it will detect alcohol in less than a second. To get there, we had to reduce the size of the sensors so they could fit into a vehicle, and to do that, we had to evolve these systems significantly. That means making them smaller, faster, and more lightweight. Each generation that you see here represents at least a year of research to do that for each sensor. The latest version is what we call Generation 3.3. We have been testing this generation for the past 18 months. Here at KEA, we install these sensors into vehicles, begin verifying them, and get them on the road as part of our human subject testing. We've made so much progress that these devices are now ready for use in fleet vehicles as a zero tolerance device. This is so government vehicles, trucking companies, and others can ensure their employees aren't drinking and driving. While we're proud of where we are with the Gen 3.3 system, it's not where we want to be. This is the size where we want to be. It's about an inch wide and has to detect a precise amount of alcohol in less than a second. In the past, going from this size to this size is something that would take five to six years. But we've been able to accelerate that timeline and expect to get there in just one to two years. The final step is to evolve this sensor into Gen 4.0, which is the version that will be made available in consumer vehicles. So that covers the breath system. Next, we'll talk more about the touch system which is the second technology we're testing here at the DADS program.